Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we'll see Jared Goff and the NFC champion Los Angeles Rams as they take on the third-year man Mitchell Trubisky and the NFC North champion Chicago Bears. With that, let's get out to venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Standing by with the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Appreciate you, Coach. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. I'm Brandon Gaughan along with Charles Davis. Charles, good matchup here. A couple of playoff teams from a season ago. And just think about how the NFL works, partner. Eight teams that made the playoffs the year before didn't make it last season. So there's always going to be parity in this league, and guys have to be ready to go. Just because you made it the year before doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get back again. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. While in college, quarterback teams that improved their win total from one his freshman year, to five his sophomore year, to eight his junior year. Love that type of improvement. Love that type of diligence. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And here are the Chicago defensive starters. Haha, -ha Clinton Dix attracted a lot of attention when he was about to enter the NFL for his ability to play the football in the air. He's actually shown that he can tackle pretty well in the league, too. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. From the gun, here's Golf. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Now we see a man who got a workout in last year's Super Bowl, Johnny Hecker on to punt for the Rams. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return, and the Bears take over. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 34. 
Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. The evolution of Clay Matthews as a player is just one that they're going to end up writing books about. He didn't even start until his senior year at USC. He didn't start in high school. And now he's at all pro level in the NFL. How about the play he just made there? Yeah, he has certainly made a name for himself. William Clay Matthews III. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Single receiver, single receiver. Hey, you're on an island over there. Single receiver. Watch 80. Completion left side to Miller. It's a loss of two, now third down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way, lost yardage. No, for some reason it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Trubisky will throw, and down he goes on the pressure from the Rams' defense. Aaron Donald with a sack. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. JoJo Natson back deep for the Rams. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 20. Now the third leading rusher in the NFL last year, Todd Gurley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and it'll be second and 12. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. No score after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it second down and 12. Second and 12, Goff. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 13, it's a first down. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays to target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Meanwhile, golf to Gurley as he drops it off for his running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They pick up 11 in addition to moving the chains. Go. First down now, but go, that go, clock go. rolling. On first down, it's Gurley. Go. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Go. 
From the 45 on second down, Goff. We got a man over the middle. It's Woods. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. From the 50, it's gone. And that is incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Close. It's well short, well right to boot, and this will remain a scoreless game. Zerline, of course, last year had likely the iconic field goal of the season, booting that 57-yarder in the Superdome to send his squad to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you really hurt the Saints fans on that one, didn't you? Sorry. They didn't want to hear that at all, but this guy deserves his nicknames. Greg the Leg, Legatron, because the ball goes through the post at a heavy rate, 87% in 2018. First and ten, it's Trubisky. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside. Ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, Trubisky completes it to the tight end, Burton. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. Here's Trubisky. Connecting with Burton here over the middle. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. A first trip to the red zone for the Bears. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. We got four. We got four. From the gun, it's Trubisky. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll be a second down. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Get up! 180! Hey, what's the delay? 
Looking to throw again on second down. Trubisky, and he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Trey Burton as the first half is winding down, and the Bears are in for six. Well, we don't see too many scoreless halves in football, not in today's day and age, and we're not going to see one here. We finally have points on the board. Yeah, and it didn't come easy, did it? Because neither of these offenses really got now the starting blocks yet, but that is definitely an important score right there. And who knows? The way their defenses play, that touchdown might even hold up until the end. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7 0 in favor of the Bears. Just a four play drive that time. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. It's a short kick here, fielded at the 24. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10. On first and 10, golf. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Now Greg Zerline. We all remember the 57-yarder that sent the Rams to the Super Bowl. And, folks, this is a 67-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So we've hit halftime here in what obviously is a very fast-moving first half of play. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a hard-fought battle to this point. 7-0 is the score, with neither offense really able to get on track. But let's not waste any time. We'll get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the second half. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. 
Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the shotgun is Trubisky to Gabriel, middle of the field. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Paul Start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Throwing here, Trubisky. Rolling to his left. And an alley to run. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right. His first carry of the game, I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. Out left to Shaheen. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter, it's a good running back dive play. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Trubisky. This one out left to the tight end, Burton. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Hey, watch the ship. Watch the ship. Let's go. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try to run for it with Davis. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Go, 
Oh, Trubisky going to throw. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So Jared Goff in the offense, down by two touchdowns, a little under a minute 50 remaining. They've yet to score all game long, but now they need to do so twice in short order to have a shot. Jared Goff, four times last year, he led the Rams on a fourth quarter comeback. He obviously didn't do it in Super Bowl 53, but can he do it here? Goff now looks to throw. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Goff now looking to throw out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Clock continuing to roll as the Rams try to get going again. To throw again on second down. Goff. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right, maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, He's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. 
Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Again, golf. Throw right side, going to be caught by Higby. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six-foot, six-inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Yeah, he is marked down right about on top of that imaginary yellow line, but they say he's a bit short. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go on fourth. Gone. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown, but probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So this drive spans seven plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. So the clock sits at 16 seconds as they line up for the onside kick. Oh, did the Rams get it? Yes, L.A. football. So they've accomplished half the mission, Charles. They get the onside kick. They do need a touchdown here, but they've got some time to do it. In the excitement, there's no need to press. Plenty of time. They have the opportunity. Now they just need to execute and finalize things. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short in the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. He'll look to throw. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in the sack. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.